Oh, shut up, or I'll throw you off the cliff to die. You're not going to shut him up like that, Luke. You'll just make him cry more. Should I kill him? You want to kill him? Give me the order and I'll gut him right here. And now, sir. Hmm, I don't know. It's a baby. So? I'm not sure. It's just a baby. And it's not even a demon, really, if you haven't noticed loot. What is he? Then, sir? If he is not a demon, nor a sinner. Well, shit. I don't know. But I do know that these filthy bastards can't reproduce. So this beard is definitely not a sinner. And if he was the son of one of these hellborn, they wouldn't have thrown him in. Well, they wouldn't have tried to kill him. Shut up, brat. But you won't stop crying, sir. You're driving me crazy. Mmm, okay. Kill him and let's go home. If he was falling off that cliff, the objective was clear. They wanted him dead. We'll just finish the job that you accidentally interrupted. Right away, sir. I really want to shut this brat up. He won't stop crying and it's driving me crazy. Yes, shut him up. Because his whining is starting to bother me too. I had forgotten. Eva used to quickly shut our children up when they cried. Wait, loot. Sir? Damn, I just had an amazing idea. But what? But what? An exorcist? Man? This is impossible. Let me go. You don't know how long I've waited for this moment. I want to find my son. Let me go. I have to find him. You have to pay for your betrayal of heaven, bitch. Your son is dead, stupid. So forget it. You're going to die now, but before I kill you, I'm going to tear that eye out of that disgusting face and take it to my mother. Please! Any last words? Let me, let me go, Uriel. Thank you, darling. Wait, wait, please give it back to me. Give it back to me, come back, Uriel. Wait. <gasps> please don't take it away. My lord, Lucifer. What the hell do you want? Sorry to bother you, my lord. I just wanted to inform you that Mr. Alastor is already sleeping. Perfect. And did you make sure he took his three cups of medicine? With my lord's permission, I'm leaving. Yes, he drank the three cups of tea, my lord. But you know Mr. Alistair is tired of your majesty drugging him all the time. Get out of here. I'll see what to do to make him stop thinking that way. I won't let a bitch like that near him again. Dad, I'm here. I'm going to sleep. Charlie, honey, and what happened to that whore and her son? Who? Velvet? She already went to the Tower of the V's. Charlie! Charlie. Honey, you know who I'm talking about? Don't joke with me. Don't worry, Dad. I did what you told me. I got rid of the baby she gave birth to. And her? I guess she too. Velvet took care of that. Perfect. What did she think? that I wouldn't find out that she dared to sleep with my Alastor. I will finally be able to sleep peacefully next to my cute deer. The problems have already been resolved. Dad, can I ask you a question? Of course, daughter. I am very happy that you can ask me whatever you want. Why are you looking at mom's portrait? I thought you didn't want to see anything related to her again? Okay, honey, it's not what you think. I also love remembering the mistakes I made years ago for love. I just wanted to use my new gold-plated royal darts. I still hate her, if you must know. <laughs> 